All right, what's going on, guys? Oh, man, I tell you what, Clemson, Clemson, Clemson. You just don't seem to understand too many things, do you? You know, we're, we're just trying to tell you some simple things, but you just you can't get the grasp of it, can you? Well, let's use some basic logic here. You know, let's use some rationality. Uh, not the exact principles, but it'll give a good idea of what uh, I'm trying to present to you here. Let's use an equation. Let's, take, let's say x plus y equals however good your team is. Uh, x being defense, y being offense. Uh, and of course we're going to divide that final number by 2 because you have to average off between your offense and defense to give you an idea uh, between one, you know, on a scale from 1 to 10 just how good your team is. Okay, so let's do, you know, just to, just to make sure you know I ain't giving you BS or, you know, trying to crap you here. Let's just say Bama, for example. <clears throat> All right. You can see the equation there. All right. Let's say we'll give Bama a 9 on defense. I mean, I don't think anybody will disagree with a 9 for Bama's defense. Uh, and while they might not be the flashiest, look at what they've scored on offense. Bama just has a good offense, so we'll put a 9 for that. Equals 18. Divided by 2. Get a 9. I, you know, I'll agree with that. Bama's easily now. Okay. Uh, let's go with Oregon. All right. So, Oregon, everybody knows. Uh, their defense is, you know, their defense is okay, but, you know, we'll just give them a seven on defense. Now, Oregon, man, if they can be physical enough and, you know, and compete against some of these more physical defenses, Oregon's got a close to a perfect, you know, Offense, so, but you know what? Just for sakes, yeah, just just for the sake of, we'll we'll give them a ten on offense. So that equals what a seventeen. You know, you divide that by two, that's eight and a half. Uh, so, and you could probably run that off to a nine. And that's how about that's yeah, you know, that's about what Oregon is. Now let's let's show you Clemson for a second. Now see, Clemson might think they're above the ten on the scale. Um, nothing new, but uh, to put in for X, let, let's let's give Clemson what their defense actually is. Even at its best, I'll be nice and give you a six. Plus, your offense, which you think for some reason you think is so phenomenal, but you haven't been tested by real defense. But I'll go ahead and you know we can say eight. I think that's a fair number. I mean, eight out of ten. That's a good offense. Uh, equal that up. Yeah, that's fourteen. Divide that by two. What do you know? You're seven. Not as high as you think you are. Now, I think it's very fair. Let's take South Carolina. We could get an eight on uh, defense. Uh, and, you know, we play SEC defense. So, and, I mean, we can score. I mean, our offense does its job. So, I think it's fair to give us an eight on offense. We're not flashy and explosive, but our offense is, still gets the job done. Uh, 16. Split that. 8. Well, we come out slightly better than you on paper. Uh, you sort of use something like that. But, um, either way, if you don't even want to look at that, let's take a look at something else. If you don't believe that, if you think that's bullcrap, it doesn't make any sense to you. Clemson, the average yards that you give up per game, I'm not even going to utter because it's laughable. Ours, a good bit lower. Um, you know, you you look at our defense. Okay, you want to say what offense have we played? Well, we, you know, like I said, Tennessee, I mean, at this point, they've already given up, but... Tennessee's offense can play hard. If, if they make the right decisions, if they do well enough, defense, you know, Tennessee's got a pretty good offense. Uh, but excluding that, we've played Georgia. We've played LSU. We've played Florida. Now, Florida's offense is decent because they're one-dimensional. they got a real good running game, but they don't have much of a passing game, so it sort of makes them one-dimensional. But uh, So you want to say we haven't played any offenses? Which, 
I don't think too many people would agree with that besides Clemson fans. Um, but let me ask you something again. What defenses have you played, Clemson? Who have you played? What defense has lined up across from your offense that is known very well for being a good defense? Ah, oh, that's right. Let me guess. You sat there in silence, right? See, Clemson, that's just what you don't seem to understand. You know, I'm gonna get you, I'm gonna get at you, Clemson. Owens. I believe you said there's no such thing as SEC defense. Let me explain something to you. Over the past seven years, uh, you know, an SEC defense has just been you know so strong and so overpowering. And when anybody outside the SEC would come to play against that defense, they weren't successful and couldn't do much nothing at all. That's why you know ESPN, all, everybody dubbed it the name an SEC defense. And we do have one. And it will limit you. Now, are we going to completely shut y'all down? No. Are y'all going to score like in the past, you know, like last year, 13, and uh, back in 09, 17? No, you're going to get a little more than that. I'll give you that. Your offense, I think, is good enough. Plus, you're getting it at home, so you're going to have a lot of momentum behind you. But see, you're not going to like the scoreboard up, Clemson. And, uh, but the one thing I want to state, and I tell South Carolina fans and Clemson fans this, it's really not about your offense or our defense or our offense and your defense. I mean, that's just the way it is. It comes down to who can be more physical. It's going to come to the battle in the trenches and who can limit turnovers. Whoever can do that, whoever can win that, is going to win this game. Clemson, I don't care what you say. We're more physical than you. And uh, you want to talk about our, our offense is sorry? Don't forget what Shaw and Miles did to you last year. You, you might be thanking your lucky stars that Lattimore isn't playing. But we don't need him to beat you. You know, we got Shaw, we got Ellenson, we got Sanders. We got all these guys. We can beat you. Our offense can get the job done against y'all. I mean, your defense is weak. You got a good offense. I'll give you that. But, again, Clemson, I just – I. I just don't think you're ready. You don't know what's coming for you. Off, you know, just one year goes by and boom. You're already thinking, well, South Carolina, uh, please, we're going to beat them. One day, Clemson, one day, you will learn. It just, it really makes me sad that you still have yet to reach that point yet. But uh, that's all I got. I'll holler at y'all later. This is Jarek saying, Go Cox. Peace.